in my opinion, loops are the basis of high quality dentistry, the basis. The Expos was impressive for dimension because it's a very, very uh, big. It's not so useful in Italy to have a so big exposition. And uh, a lot of people, a lot of nice people, a lot of uh, exhibitors. Uh, I am really impressed. Congratulations to the organizer of the Congress. My lecture, unfortunately, was uh, focused uh, only on a detail of the restorative process, that uh, is the layering technique, okay? The layering technique in this moment is a completely overestimated uh, part of the, restor the big restorative process, okay? And I have tried to, to help people to uh, uh, teach them how to stratify in a very simple way and using very, very few mass the, uh, the restoration in posterior region. Uh, I show to the people the uh, trilaminar technique, my personal approach performed by me and Dr. Bazos uh, some years ago. Unfortunately for us, when we work in uh, posterior region, we have a lot of problems. My last problem are aesthetical. Okay? My big problem are mechanical then I have to be able to project in the right way under my biomechanical point of view the cavity if I want to enlarge dramatically the longevity of the restoration. And uh, in this historical moment some people thinking that uh, addition give all, always the solution forget some basic important physical concept because uh, we, uh, we work with a lot of force in the mouth and we have to know where these uh, forces are and when to contrast, to, uh, uh, to, to contrast this uh, force with our restoration. And uh, this is uh, a real important message. Uh, you have to decrease the time reserved to uh, layering technique and you have increased a lot of the time uh, for uh, a good uh, adhesive preparation, good adhesive preparation, good biomechanical preparation. This is uh, very important in this historical moment too, because addition don't solve always our problems. I am not so popular, but I think that uh, we have to come back just a little bit to the past, not for the progression of the material, and we have to define what is the, the real aim of the adhesive dentistry and what is uh, the real aim of the minimal invasive concept. Because uh, minimal invasive concept, in my opinion, is a completely overrated concept, is a completely fake concept in, in this moment, because a lot of people don't understand what means minimal, to be minimal invasive, okay? Minimal invasive don't mean to save a completely unsupported wall, to save uh, decayed tissues, to save uh, Okay, then we have uh, in the next years, I think we have to work to clarify the concept of minimal invasive concept. Uh, in my opinion, the, the real concept is to be minimal invasive is to touch less as possible the teeth. And this is all the only way because any time you touch the teeth, a teeth you have, uh, you have to pay a biological cost, okay? And this is, in my opinion, one of the most uh, uh, concepts to define in the next future. Uh, it's impossible for me to think uh, about uh, uh, dentistry without magnification. I'm not here to sell microscope, I'm not here to sell million of dollar instruments, no, this is not true. But I am here to tell you, please make a little investment and start to use uh, loops, because your uh, life will change dramatically, okay? You are not able to do the things that you are not able to see, okay? Then uh, is, uh, in my opinion, loops are the basis of high quality dentistry, the basis. Uh, I am a, a one of the three founders of Biomolation Group. I am uh, really proud about uh, to, to be able to create uh, with uh, my historical friend uh, Panagiotis Bazos and uh, uh, Dr. Tapia, this is a great, great group of uh, great person, but a great person not only under a professional point of view, a great person under a human point of view. And this is for us much important than uh, the professional skills. <laughs>